Yo, what's going on? Canvas Killer here. And this is this week's episode of Canvas Killer Critiques. And today we're going to talk about a uh, DMV-based artist. Uh, I believe Bro is based in Maryland and is from New York. And I have been following his work for maybe ab uh, about four or five years now. And uh, I actually one time back in, I think, 2015 had the pleasure of showcasing some work alongside this this brother uh in dc and so today we're going to talk about um a, a good friend of mine you know, we haven't had a great amount of time to connect uh though we definitely have been supporting each other's work virtually for a very long time and uh yeah man so i'm gonna uh, I'm give bro you know his flowers and his just do because he great uh excuse me creates very great very amazing work and so none other than uh, the homie Don Prophet, you understand? So this piece that we're looking at today is untitled. And um, let me minimize my screen to give you guys a better view. Boom. All right, so let me zoom in on this job. Perfect. Awesome. So yeah, what we're looking at here is a dance scene. I'm not certain as to where he pulled the reference image. Um, and I really enjoy his work because he'll take reference images typically from popular culture, uh, popular television shows, popular mu uh, movies, and then he'll render them into his own style. A style that is very cartoonish. It is very fun. This definitely gives me, <clears throat> it gives me like a spin on the Proud Family illustrations, you know, um, very exaggerated features like, you know what I'm saying, my man's right here, um, and, and being, just kind of having this very big bravado to his upper body, and, um, <clears throat> and yo, I, I love these smiles, I love the smiles that are in these photos, man, because you know it's a great smile, you're having a great time when your eyes close, and you're just cheesing big as hell, you know what I'm saying, so, I appreciate what, what this brother is able to do, yo. And in this image uh, specifically, uh, some of my favorite parts are this really bold red and this uh, almost, uh, I would say, like a hot pink. And uh, those colors complement each other well. And I'm assuming those are, are like balloons or, or something of the sort. And, um, you know, so they flank the gentleman on his left side, he flanked the young lady right behind her head. And and so it gives some nice resting points for the bulk and, and the majority of the blue that's used, whether it's this darker blue that's in the shirt of this gentleman here, and then the light blue that's in the background, and these almost turquoise bulbs that are lit up. And it gives a very festive mood, you know, like they're clearly celebrating something. And I love pieces that will suggest to you that there is some sort of occasion and, and it allows you to fill in the blanks with the information that the artist has gave. And so they look very joyous, yo. There's certainly a great amount of trust from woman to man and that, you know, she's allowing herself to be dipped. Because, uh, fellas, if you don't catch that weight, then y'all going to be looking crazy on the dance floor. And so, yes, man, this is uh, definitely another artist who is really big on representation on <clears throat> creating imagery and, and and visuals that that really uh even if at a small glimpse give you an idea of um of of, of how we relate you know one with another in in this case being a, a loving couple and so um yeah yo this joint definitely it almost gives me like disco vibes you feel me uh just because they uh they're dancing in this manner and then um when i think of a like a disco i think of like the disco balls with like the glitter ball and not to say that there's a glitter ball in this painting but there are aspects of these lights that are behind the figures that are shining and then there are elements of these round um red and, and pink balls and so i'm here for it yo i can see this piece uh, actually gracing the cover of like a like a record like an album 
You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, Don Prophet's greatest hits. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this joint, this look like whatever they listening to and dancing to is definitely something that your auntie and your uncles are like. Probably none of this new age stuff. Uh, so shout out to them. You know, and being and being grown. My man's uh, in the image has a full grown beard. So he's definitely uh, he's a full grown man. You know what I'm saying? So he probably, you know, is listening to. Uh, you know, some Stephanie Mills, some stylistics, uh, all of the goats, all of the goats, yo. Um, so, yeah, yo, uh, I've, I've talked about some of my favorite parts in this drum. And um, I definitely love the the suggested movement. I love the movement and the, the young lady's heel, you know, being kicked back and her showing this carefreeness and this trust of her partner who's dancing with her and I love how exaggerated his arm is and you know leaning her back and dipping her back uh because it's beautiful to see you know what I'm saying if, if any of you have ever seen a couple dance in real time it's, it's one of the most warming feelings ever and so I'm grateful that this brother uh took the time to um render whatever reference this is or if it was freestyle that's even more impeccable Though I'm I'm grateful that he chose to uh, represent us in a way that shows us being our lighthearted selves and having fun. And so, yo, I hope you all have enjoyed this piece of artwork as much as I have. I could definitely, alongside seeing it on like a, a record or CD cover or something like that, I could see it. Um, I could see this in somebody's office space, you know what I'm saying? I think this would be a dope like anniversary gift. Um, or to go on top of like, uh, like a, a card, you know what I'm saying? Like a nice Hallmark type card, you know what I'm saying? And wish somebody a happy anniversary, uh, just something fun, something lighthearted. And, um, yeah, yo, yeah. So thank you, uh, Don Prophet, man, for, for your contributions to the art world. And, um, I've had a, I've had a great time, you know, uh, reviewing this work and uh, definitely keep producing man keep producing uh this piece right here was done back in 2019 so you know certainly uh this brother's work is aging well um so yeah go support him i've left his instagram handle at the bottom of the screen uh give him a follow check him out and uh support you know what i'm saying whether it's with a follow whether it's with a like a comment or with actually purchasing one of his originals or his his prints and i believe he also has um uh different merchandise as well um and maybe like wearable art and different apparel uh so tap in with bro man um i, I look forward to seeing more work from you and uh thank you all uh my viewers for tuning in this week it's been an amazing time i'm i'm going to take some time before i dip out to share with you all um, a collaboration that I have going on currently that you can find on www.sweetiescoffee.com and it is uh, these are two uh, actually let me not play myself let me maximize my screen again let me do that so you guys can see these a little bit clearer cool all right, so boom, this one is the, the queen cup with my signature on the side. And you can find these again at www.sweetiescoffee.com. And um, also get some coffee too while you're at it. It's a black owned business. The creator, uh, her name is Ashley Graham, uh, an amazing business owner and uh certainly one of my mentors as well so i would greatly appreciate it if you added one of these mugs to your collection and um yeah so stay tuned to all of what i have going on i'll drop some links for you all in the video description so you all can check things that i may not have touched on in this video and uh yeah again one more shout out to the homie don prophet this has been this week's episode of canvas killer critiques I'm Canvas, and peace out, yo. Have a great night.